Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Crossover, and happy Christmas, Mer Merry Christmas, I said happy Christmas, excuse me, I can't speak right now, um, Merry Christmas, and we hope you're having a wonderful Christmas, and we are just going to talk about why Jesus came to earth. Now, I know that there's a lot of talk, you know, about the whole, you know, Jesus being born and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure you guys already know. But today I'm going to talk about why he was born. What he's here for, what he came here for. Now, the first verse that we have is John chapter 14, verse 6. It says, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Now, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. You already know the story. Born in Bethlehem, in a manger, you know, and grew up to be liked by a lot of people and hated by a lot of people because of who he was. A lot of people didn't like what he was saying because what he was saying was true and it was convicting people. So people wanted a way to justify themselves. They wanted a way to justify themselves to make it seem like everything that they were doing was for a good cause. And Jesus came here not to establish laws, not to make laws. Jesus came here to contradict all of the Jewish laws. Now, think about it. In biblical times, it was completely un... Well, not un... Uh, what's the word? Kind of, you know, unthoughtful and disrespectful to be working or almost doing anything that requires work on Sabbath. And anybody that did that, you know, they were stoned to death or just scolded. And they took that very seriously because God did say, you know, you need to keep the Sabbath day holy, you know, don't work. But Jesus came and said, Sabbath is a time to meet people's needs, not the Sabbath's Need, or requirements it is a day to do evil or excuse me it is a day to do good not evil and he also brought up a very good point he said you know on sabbath if your donkey were to fall into a ditch what would you do would you help it pretty sure you'd help it even if it was on sabbath you know, it's your donkey. It belongs to you. You grew it, you know, you fed it, you nourished it to get it to that point where it was where it is. And for it just to fall into the into this ditch and for you just to sit there and be like, Well, it's Sabbath, I, I can't really do anything, you know, g g goodbye, you know, and just walk off. It, that's not what God wants us to do. What God is saying is, if work is necessary, if you can put it off, if you can put off work, that's a different story. You can put off work to another day, unless you cannot. If it is required, if you need to, let's say your boss calls you into work, and, uh, you know, then you need to. And you can go look at another, or at our previous video talking about Sabbath, I, I go more in depth with it. But God came here to completely contradict these laws so that we are not condemned by them. God made a way for us to be right with him just by believing in Jesus. Just by believing that he died on the cross for us. That's all. That's it. That's it. That's all we need to do. Just believe that. It's so simple. It is so crazy to think that 
it is so simple to gain eternal life. It is so simple to, you know, have a relationship with God. And it's so simple, not necessarily to have a good life, but to have a life in a relationship with God that's guided by Him and is kind of, you know, supported by God. Now, God is saying, all you need to do is believe that Jesus died on the cross for everybody's sins. That's all you need to do. And people still haven't. It is so simple, and it is as, it's literally as simple as just saying, a few words in a prayer and we are going to say that prayer at the end of this video so if you would like to have a relationship with God it is so simple all you need to do is say a few words believe it truly with your heart and God will make things possible through and through other people and God came here as I said to contradict these laws so that we can be made right with him. Now, when it says this, it's basically saying that you cannot get to heaven no other way. There is no other way, but God did make it so much easier. Because let me tell you this, if you were to try to get to heaven by your own good deeds and your own will, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. Everybody falls short of the glory of God. Everybody falls short. We've all sinned. We've all done stuff that we regret. And God is making a way that is possible, or God did make a way that is possible for us to get to heaven without just our good works. Now, it is important to, you know, remain holy but God understands as I said in a previous video that we sin he understands humans because he had to remain in a human body while he was here he had to be in a human body while he was here so he understands what we have to deal with because he dealt with it himself but he came here to contradict all of these laws so that we can be made right with God. Now, another verse that we have is Galatians chapter 3, or no, chapter 2, excuse me, uh, verse 20. It says, my old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who, but Christ lives in me. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Now, Jesus was born here on earth, had to deal with all the sins and stuff, everything that we have to deal with every day, he's dealt with everything. Everything that we could ever go through, he has dealt with. He's dealt with grief. He's dealt with abuse. He's dealt with uh, mocking. He's dealt with people making fun of him. He's dealt with death threats even. He's dealt with so many things, everything that we could possibly imagine. He's dealt with it. He's even dealt with death. He's dealt with dying himself. He's dealt with everything in life that life could have possibly thrown at him. He's dealt with it all so that we could deal with it. So that he can make us right with him by showing us the way. And it says, uh, it, is I, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. When we are made new, when we believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, when we have that relationship with him, he takes over. You know, he, if you allow him. He's not going to force anything upon you. That is the thing about God is that he gives free choice. And if you give him your life, then he will lead you down the right path. Now, with this all being said, Josiah, would you like to give us the verse of this week? The verse of this week is John 3.16.
For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and, o one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Is saying that God gave Jesus his only Son for us not to perish, but gain eternal life through us accepting him through the sinner's prayer as our Lord and Savior. Yeah. You know, kind of, uh, it's, it's like, um, when, as I said, you know, going back to what I said, when you accept Jesus into your life, you have that relationship with him. And when you let him fully take control of your life, he just leads you down the good path, the path that you want to be going down, the path that will leave you feeling fulfilled. So if any of this touched you in any way, and you want to have a relationship with God, you want that uh, you want that one-on-one -on -one with him. You want him to take over your life and you want things to start going good again. You know, not saying is that you're going to deal with or you're not going to deal with difficulty because, oh, you will. You know, there will be difficulty. And it, as a matter of fact, it might even be harder than, you know, not having Jesus in your life. Now, let me tell you why that is. Because when you believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and when you have a relationship with him then the devil realizes that you're a threat because you have so much power once you have that relationship with him you have so much power that the devil is scared of you that he tries everything that he can to get rid of you or to try to make you fall off that path the good path now we're going to give that opportunity right now so as i said if you would like that then I want you to say this prayer with us. Dear Lord, I thank you for everything that you've done for me. I thank you for the good and the bad. I thank you for absolutely everything, dear Lord. I can't thank you enough. I pray that you give me your Holy Spirit. I want a relationship with you, dear Lord. I believe that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for my sins. And dear Lord, I pray that you lead me down the good path. I pray and I want what's best in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you said that prayer, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share this video. Do all that. Stay up to date with everything that we're doing. And we hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, blessed, amazing night, day, evening, whichever. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. And we'll see you guys next weekend. Goodbye.